Good evening, everybody. Oops. Good evening, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. Um, I'm going to do a real, real quick video. I had to improvise a lightning arrestor today, and they're very simple to make. Um, we'll go over, but this one's going to for a random wire antenna that I'm using for my shortwave radio just to listen. Uh, if I was going to transmit, I'd probably do things different, but I don't want lightning to come in. I uh, woke up this morning, there was clouds everywhere and thundering and stuff, and I left my antenna hooked up to my shortwave radio last night as I like to listen to shows while I sleep. So what I did is I took two bolts, stainless steel, and ran them inside a pill bottle. And let me get this over here. And you can see there's a little tiny gap in there, about one millimeter. The dielectric, or the breakdown strength of air, where it breaks down and becomes an, a, a, um, a conductor, is... Um, three kilovolts per millimeter so this is about half a millimeter I think I'll have to double check and redo everything but when I install it I'll check but that should bring us down to about 15 uh, 1500 volts and static and what we'll do is we'll have this this will connect to the antenna here with the long wire and I'll, I'll do that in a minute and this one here will connect to an earth grounder very very low impedance which is resistance to AC energy but a low impedance and this is our antenna. These are our two trees up here. Oops. Come on, focus. There we go. That's the antenna. And there's our spark thing with our uh, our spark gap with the, the earth ground or ground rod or electrical ground. I'm going to use the earth ground in this case. And we'll just tap it in just like that. The radio antenna will go fine, but the voltage builds up because this isn't grounded. If the voltage builds up, it'll go here and it'll go through here and it'll build the charge and spark. Uh, you can file this down to a point, which will make it spark a lot easier. It builds up field strength, and I'll put all this stuff down below in the the technical stuff down below in the information box. But basically, static or anything will build up on the same spark. Uh, if these are points, it'd be better. That can be better. This is just until the one I get from Amazon gets here. Uh, I just wanted this for right now. So this will take care of things right now. It's not the best idea, but it will definitely work. Uh, you could do a coax one. Is basically you have this here connected, and that's how they make them for coax. And this here is all conductive on the outside, and they have a little spark come up here, a uh, screw that has a point on it, just touching, just almost touching the copper wire that runs through the center braid, and then they have that go to an earth ground down there, and that's that's how the coax ones you buy are. If you want to transmit on them, I'd, I'm not going to be transmitting on this one. I mean, you could for a long wire antenna, but if you have too much wattage, you would get spark over or a flash over. But I don't know how much that would take. I mean, watts, volts. I'm not going to do the math on it. I mean, it's it's simple math, but I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I just want to say what I did real quick. I, I improvised a, a lightning arrestor, so I won't blow my radio. So this is the shortwave radio, not the not the ham radio. But it probably worked for that too. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that. I'll just wait. Um, I usually keep that disconnected, but I'll wait until I actually get my one in that I've ordered. But I need this one now so I can listen to the radio. So there you go. It's North Carolina Pepper. Please read, subscribe, ask questions if you want, uh, and have a great day, everybody. It's North Carolina Pepper. Out. Oh wait, um, yeah, I put um bolts on the inside to keep it adjusted for uh, the 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 length and the gap in there. So there's two bolts on, one on the outside, one on the inside. And then they go in together, and they have your spark gap. You have to be adjusted. It tweaked a little bit there. I pulled it apart. But there you go, pretty much. All right, so I'm Pepper. Please rate, subscribe, and greet everybody.